is the Canon 250D worth buying in 2021? I'm going to answer that for you in today's video. Let's jump in. So around about two years ago now, Canon released the Canon 250D and this succeeded the very popular 200D, which most people were using for things like vlogging or just photography. So they released the 250D as a budget friendly 4K DSLR camera. And they said, they said that it was the smallest DSLR camera with a flippy screen. It probably is, but I can't tell you for sure if it is or if it isn't. Let's talk about what the 250D actually is though, the facts. It's a tiny DSLR camera and it comes with a 24 megapixel sensor, which is really nice. It's vibrant and punchy and gives you really nice, crispy, contrasty photos, which I like that style. The 250D comes with the dual pixel autofocus. Now, this is version one. It's worth me mentioning that they have now released version two, but that's on the higher models of the Canon series of cameras. So you're looking at, you know, the R6, the R5, things like that. There are some other cameras with it as well, but you can't expect to be getting all of the best features on a low price camera. But the dual pixel autofocus, version one is one that I've used for many years and it's never let me down. It's always been brilliant quality, never really gone out of focus and it's always been perfect, especially for shooting things like YouTube videos like this or vlogging. It's got 4K as well, the 250D. It's worth mentioning the 4K because Canon branded it as a small DSLR camera with 4K. So it does have it, but the 4K is not particularly that good. Now, the actual quality of the 4K is okay, but if you're someone expecting to get most of your pictures or films in focus, then you're not going to get that because the contrast-based autofocus on the 4K is particularly bad. But if you're a manual shooter and you can shoot manual video, then you can get some great quality video with the 4K then. Just don't use that autofocus. So that's what the 250D is. It's a great little camera and it's at a great little price. You can pick it up for around about 500 pound or so. But is it worth buying in 2021? And the questions we really need to ask is, has anything come out and superseded this camera since its release date? Especially is anything out there now, which is better and for the price? First up, if you're looking at the 250D, you want a DSLR camera because we all know DSLR cameras are lovely to hold they feel very robust and you don't really get that from a mirrorless camera unless you spend a fair bit more money on it. So I will say that the 250D offers that for you. It gives you that nice, solid feel in your hand and it's just better to hold than a mirrorless camera. But I will also say that it does feel a little bit more cheaply made than cameras like the 80D or the 90D, even though they're a bit more expensive. Even though it's lighter and it feels a little bit more cheaply made, it still feels like a solid camera and you definitely get that DSLR feel to it. So if you're looking for a DSLR camera to actually match the 250D since its release date, there really isn't much. You're going to be looking at probably the Nikon 5600 and that was released at the same time as the Canon 250D or at least it was very close. Now the thing about the 5600 is, well it's a brilliant camera. I can't say it's not. I'm a Canon shooter and I am a little bit biased towards Canon, but the 5600 is just as good. The only thing I would say difference wise is that you probably get more of a lens choice with the Canon than you would with the Nikon. But what I will say is you can't go wrong with either camera, but the 5600 hasn't been released later on. So it doesn't supersede this camera. You could then look at another camera like the Canon M50. It's a similarish price and so many people ask about the comparisons between these two cameras. 
I'll keep it nice and short and sweet. The M50 offers pretty much everything that the Canon 250D does, but there are a couple of differences in favor, in my opinion, for the 250D. You get a lot longer battery life. That's another great thing about DSLRs. You get longer battery life, which means you don't have to swap between batteries quite as often. In fact, you get three times the amount of battery life from one battery as you do on the M50. You also get more range of lenses. You've got a really wide range of lenses to choose from when it comes to the 250D. Whereas you've only got the EFM when it comes to the M50, which you don't have too much choice and they are a little bit more expensive as well. Now it's going to come down to choice because there is one thing in favor of the M50. You do get better autofocus if you're using the back screen, you get more autofocus points and that could be handy for someone if they're doing everything on the back. But it really comes down to if you want a DSLR or if you want a mirrorless, both cameras are almost identical. So to wrap this video up, I'm gonna say that the Canon 250D is definitely still worth buying in 2021, but it's worth knowing that you've got to be buying it for where it's priced in the market. So what I mean when I say that is, if you're someone that's a professional photographer, say you've been out for a year or two, but you wanna come back into it, or even if you're just a professional photographer anyway, you probably know this already, but the Canon 250D is not going to be the camera for you. If you're a beginner photographer, or you're someone that wants to shoot some really nice HD video with great autofocus, then this is definitely gonna be the camera for you. Even if you're a hobbyist, it's gonna be a really nice choice. So bearing that in mind, if you're looking for a camera priced at around about 500 pound, which offers you great photos, really nice video, and it gives you a really enjoyable experience. Now, I definitely, definitely recommend the Canon 250D as your camera of choice. I hope you've enjoyed this video today, guys. If you've got any questions at all, drop them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you after the video. Now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we'd love to have you join the channel here at Ben's Guide. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.